All right, welcome back. I don't know if you were tuned in a few minutes ago when we talked about today being the last day of summer. We're playing a little quiz show here with the weather cast. So we have the change of the seasons and sitting on your couch. What causes the change of the seasons? Kids, change of the seasons. What causes it? All right, I heard a couple right answers out there. It's the tilt of the earth. If the earth wasn't tilted, we'd have no seasons. But because it's tilted, here we are in summer. Notice the northern hemisphere facing the sun. Longer days, we head towards fall. And notice that neither the northern nor the southern hemisphere facing the sun. So it's equal days, equal nights. And we get towards the winter solstice. And the southern hemisphere is in the summer, summer hemisphere. And it's facing the sun. And then we're at another equinox in spring with neither the north or the south facing the sun. So it's roughly equal days and equal nights across the entire planet tomorrow as the sun crosses the equator and journeys to the southern hemisphere. So uh, if the south, south Pole was facing out your TV screen, notice equal days, equal nights across the planet. Tomorrow, the equinox, Latin for equal. All right, 70 degrees our high temperature today for the last day of summer, very on average for this time of year. A warm night last night with some cloud cover and moisture in place. And notice the sunrise, sunset here as we get towards the first day of fall. Not exactly equal days and equal nights, but just about as close as they get out there. What did I want to say about that? The equinox, that's at 721 a.m. local time tomorrow. That's when the sun's right above the equator. All right, and for the first day of fall, we have a fall storm system right on cue. What makes it a fall storm system versus summer and the monsoon? Well, you know, the monsoon, all the moisture comes in out of the south, even with that last uh, tropical system and the moisture we've had the last couple days. Well, I wish this was still looping, but I didn't loop it. But notice it's a trough of Pacific low pressure. This is what starts happening when we get away from the monsoon and start getting into the fall and winter storm track. And this is a pretty defined little cold front here that's still winding up, and it's going to be a big fall changer for uh, the inner mountain west. They're expecting some decent snowfall, six plus inches in the mountains of Salt Lake. This cold front for us is going to bring a windy day, ushering cooler temperatures beginning tomorrow. And we're going to see showers and thunderstorms throughout the day as a cold front moves through with some colder air in behind it. It'll certainly start feeling like fall. All right, the very last light of summer shining on our fair town, 64 degrees right now under partly sunny skies with some light wind out of the southwest at seven miles per hour. Partly cloudy overnight tonight, calm wind, 49 degrees, our forecast early morning low. Tomorrow, 65, windy, winds gusting up around 40 miles per hour. I think precipitation moves in right along the front and uh, that moves into western Arizona mid-morning, right around Flagstaff, central Arizona midday and uh, that's where we'll see some showers and possibly some strong thunderstorms along the front and then behind it uh, will be dry and cool but we'll see some showers and thunderstorms through the afternoon into the evening tomorrow 79 in Sedona 75 in Pace and 82 in Winslow here's a look at the extended forecast and notice we're a little bit on the cooler side um, behind this storm system on Friday but it's dry and cool with some very cold overnight lows particularly Friday night into Saturday morning with uh, some very glorious days in the first weekend of fall forecast.